Good morning folks, quick article here about how Europe may get colder and colder winters. It is linked for you below. For those who watch the sun and know the spacecraft we've put up there to watch it as well, we have been eagerly anticipating for weeks Earth's debut on the Stereo B HI1 frame. Here's the pre-appearance lens flaring, which is normal. Earth now squarely visible here on the Stereo B HI1. All planets flare as they enter and exit the frame, like Venus is doing here on the Stereo A HI1 frame. And we'll slow down a bit here at the end because Earth is going to appear here in a few days as well. That's the pre-appearance lens flaring. So to whomever has the job of turning off buoy data, stop that. These two are taken offline for the second time in two months. This one went off on the 21st. If you ever click one of these and nothing comes up, just go to the detail. Cut off about the same time. Slightly southwest of that location, the fourth tropical cyclone is sick of these things just lingering out on the water. He or she may get a name tonight as it rockets towards Somalia. Residents have less than two days to prepare. Volcanic eruption in Argentina last night. There are actually volcano watches throughout Chile right now. Yet another oil spill in Nigeria. Disastrous year for them. Europeans, this is the cause of your weather yesterday, today, and tomorrow. That low is driving the wind, clouds, and precipitation. Down under, seeing thunderstorms and Cyclone Evans remnants making landfall at northern New Zealand. Love to get a weather share from you guys down there, actually. Thunderstorm watches ongoing in New South Wales. Draco is gone, exiting the east coast right now as the wind map convergence drive along the Missouri is a high-pressure mass, while out west, we have wind shooting north to meet the low creeping now over the west coast as we speak. It's actually a double O with a firm backside. He must work out. Already causing wintry weather in Canada. Solar wind speed dropping again. The three day SOHO telemetry shows the decline in full. Solar flares are at low sea level but still unable to produce anything major. Looking at the once great triangular sunspot group as these umbra decay, we see bipolarity in nearly every corner but they are fading fast and the region is turning towards the western limb. Up north, not yet directly earth facing but doing its choke artist impression nonetheless. We see bipolarity developing but doing so as the group decays. I'm not ready to count them out yet. I will keep watching those active regions. The thin lines here are plasma filaments posing eruption threat and the dark coronal holes set to face us as Venus geocentrically opposes Jupiter today. One final peek to the quake watch. Eyes open at 625 a.m. Eastern time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.